Hello everyone, this is Apsar Ali. So in this video tutorial, we are gonna discuss about the Jasmine, that is a behavior driven uh, testing framework. So basically it's uh, similar to Cucumber that we already discussed, right? So if you can see in the Cucumber that uh, we, we had created a project already in the previous video. So in that you can see we had a feature file, we had a step definition, we created some page objects as well. Uh, in this Jasmine, we'll not have these feature files, okay? Instead of feature files, we'll only have a step definitions. So basically in Jasmine, you can see, we start with the describe, uh, we, uh, we have the it, so basically we will talk more about these in you know, a going forward. So in this video, we'll just see how to install with the WebDriver IO, uh, the Jasmine framework, okay? So let's get started. Okay, the first step would be uh, just create a folder, uh, project folder, okay? So I already created a folder called WebDriver IO Jasmine. Within that, we need to initialize our uh, node project over here right so how to do that so if i go to command line in this particular folder okay so in here what i need to do is here just initialize our node.js project just need to write npm in it so it will ask you for package name maybe you can write webdriver io uh, Jasmine then version let me put it as a default default this is also default just, just enter I can write my name as author license enter uh, is this okay I'll say yes enter okay so now we can see a uh, package.json is being created already so that means our node.js project is being initialized so the next step would be to install uh, WebDriver IO CLI. So if I do in here, same thing, npm i means install. Yeah, this is a shortcut uh, for install we use. npm install you can uh, write as well. So hyphen hyphen save dev means it will uh, install this WebDriver IO in the dev dependency. Okay, you'll see that as well. If I press this enter, you'll see a uh, dependency, dev dependency is being added in this package.json. Okay, you can see here dev dependency is being added, and also you can see the node modules package. Uh, this uh, folder is being also added over here, so which contain all the dependency of the web driver IO. All right, so the next step would be. Here you can see we need to create the config file, right? So we we have now WebDriver IO, we have a WebDriver IO CLI. From that we need to create our initialize basically WebDriver IO project, right? This is now Node project. Now we need to go for WebDriver IO project. So for that what we need to do is just not to go till Node module then dot pin wdio config if i write this node modules bin wdio basically it is present in here node modules bin i'm going with the wdio so till here i need to write then in here if i write the config it will ask me for webdriver io configuration help right so here i need to enter my requirements I'll click enter. Uh, then where is your automation backend located on my local? Yes, I'll enter. Uh, okay. Then which framework do you want to use? It's a Mocha, Jasmine, and Cucumber. So for this video, we'll be using Jasmine, right? Uh, do you want to run WebDriver IO command synchronous or asynchronous? So we'll be using the synchronous. Okay. So basically, it's a uh, it will wait for the command to be completed in synchronous. Asynchronous, it is something like that uh, multi-threaded uh, in Java world, right? So that means uh, if you send a command like get text, but it will not wait 
uh, till that uh, response, right? So it will go ahead with execution, but we don't want for now. Okay, there are uh, some use cases for async as well. I'll uh, discuss more about that later on. So for that, for this, uh, let me just go with a synchronous. Where is your uh, test spec located, located? I can say just uh, test specs. Okay, just enter. For this, I need which a reporter this one spec okay Chrome driver. Uh, what is the base URL? Just enter, and these all are being selected over here. You can see, and this will install all the dependencies in here. Okay, so now it's being uh, installed all the dependencies over here within the dev dependency section. You can see just in framework local runner spec reporter sync and Chrome driver WDA Chrome driver service. This all are now is being installed. So the next step would be here if you can see spec files. So for this video, we're gonna create a small spec file similar to spec de uh, definition step definition story in the cucumber so i just create one folder called test okay so within that i'll just create another folder called specs and within this spec i'll do a new file Maybe I can take a simple example of the web driver IO they have done over here, right? So what I can do, just maybe write uh, my first test.js. So within that, what I need to do is, I need to just, oh, let me just uh, close this. I need to just use this one. Uh, web driver IO basic. Okay. Cool. If I use, uh, I just need to copy and paste over here so that I don't need anything. And one more important thing that we need to do is we need to set up Babel as well, right? So in the previous session as well, we did the same uh, to run some import statement and all. So for that, what we can do, just uh, search for, uh, maybe I just open here, WebDriver IO, Babel, Babel setup. So for that, I need to just create a folder name babel.config.js over here. babel.config.js Okay, so now I need to just put this thing within that. Okay, so instead of 12, what I can write, I can write the current. Fine. And the next step would be, and just put, if you are using Jasmine, I need to put this required statement within the before hook, okay? So if we go in WDIO config, because that is being created, we selected all the things right here, whatever we selected in the config, based on that, everything will be created uh, within this WDIO config file. So the spec path also we provided over here. So what I can check, it should be within the test, then specs is correct. Then the this is saying another folder is there. So in our case, there is no another folder within the spec folder only, our uh, step uh, specs are present, okay? So I'll just do save and I need to go till here before hook so before session here so just uncomment that and use bubble register this one okay 
So that will work for us. The next thing that we need to do is we need to run it, right? Okay, to run this particular test that we have written over here. So what it will do, it will go to WebDriver IO page. In the in the describe, we have written WebDriver IO page. Uh, we need to validate that. Should have the right title and within it. So we'll discuss more about this describe it and other functionality of Jasmine in the next video. So let me just quickly run this. We'll see whether our installation is working fine or not. Okay, so what we need to do is go to the uh, node modules dot bin wdio. Then I need to provide over here the wdio config js file. So that will trigger whole uh, execution because we have provided the spec definition path in the wdio. So it is being now coupled. So what I'll do wdio.config js okay just press enter you can see now execution started and went to web driver io page and it validated and it validated that uh, the title of that page is web driver io this one okay so now you can see a uh, one passing in 2.8 second okay so because we uh, use spec re reporter we use a spec reporter and then you will get like this kind of reporting like should have the right title should have the right title over here you can see it's a tick mark so that means it's pass okay guys so thank you for watching see you in the next video